Hello everybody, welcome to the talk about Open CESO on ARM uh, at Open CESO Conference 2022. And on this talk, we'll cover what happened since the last Open CESO Conference last year um, about ARM, of course. So, the agenda for today is the following I will start with a quick introduction to myself. Uh, then we will have a look at the open build service side on the test on OpenQA. Um, we talk about Tumbleweed, Cubic, MicroOS, and Leap and Step. Then we'll talk about the open SUSE wiki and finally the to do list. So I'm Guillaume Gardet, I'm a member of OpenQA of the OpenSUSE community for years now. Um, I'm also engineer at ARM, part of the distro team from the OSS group, and I'm dedicated to SUSE and OpenSUSE since 2018. I'm a member of the OpenSUSE release team, taking care of ARM architectures. Um, my main focus is on AR64. Uh, this is the 64-bit version of ARM. And this is for Tumbleweed, but also for Leap. Um, I take care of ARMv7 as well, uh, which is mainly on Tumbleweed, and we also have it for Leap, thanks to the STEP project. We'll talk more about it later. And with the best effort, uh, we support ARMv6 uh, for Tumbleweed only. On the open build service side, um, the build power for ARM has been improved, which is great. We have much quicker builds now. Um, we also have uh, rings we build. Um, so we have two parts. The smaller part is rings uh, zero, with only the bootstrap packages, which is always green. And the rings uh, one minimal X uh, is mostly green, and sometimes we have some build failure, and we need to fix them as soon as possible. But we still have not enough build power to enable staging projects for AR64, as it is done for x86. And of course, lots of build failures uh, have been fixed. Here you, are, you have some build statistics for OpenSUSE Tumbleweed. The values are from the snapshot um, from 20 seconds of May. And you can see that AR64 is very close to x86 in terms of build success, um, build succeed, succeeded, build failed, and unresolved labels. On test, on OpenQA side, um, we still have the local worker. By local, I mean on the same network as um, the OpenQA server on the OpenSUSE network. So we have the D05 machine, which allow us to have 16 Chemu workers. We also have remote workers. Two from Amazon Web Service. Uh, the first one is uh, A1, which allows us to have three Chemi workers. And we have the Amazon M6G machine, which uh, allow 10 Chemi workers, and those workers are LSC enabled. We also have a Nampere Emag machine, uh, which adds uh, eight Chemi workers. And we have a part-time workers. This is a Honeycomb LX2K machine, uh, which is just next to me. And this is mainly used to build um, packages, but sometimes when there is some bandwidth, um, I start it as a KMU workers for OpenQA. And I can enable up to three KMU workers. And we also have a wear hardware test. Uh, also on remote side with a general hardware backend. 
So we have one Raspberry Pi 2, which is MV7, and we have one Raspberry Pi 3 and one Raspberry Pi 4, which are both IR64. Here you have the number of tests we are run on each snapshot. So for Tumbleweed, uh, we have more than 200 tests. And most of them are on the DVD. But we have also some tests for Cubic MicroRes, for the Net Installer, for Ready to Boot images, and of course for live images. The numbers are from end of May. And now uh, cubic images are gone since the uh, cubic project has been uh, end of life. So the numbers are a bit lower today. On the lip side, you can see that um, IR64 tests um, are much lower compared to Tumbleweed. And we also have more, uh, the most tests run on the DVD. And we also test net um, images, ready to boot images, live images, and also a container image. The general hardware backend has been improved and now support um, HDMI to USB device to check screen output and also USB gadget support to send mouse and keyboard events. The problem is that most boards now output um, high definition um, to, to HDMI and OpenQA still expect, expect um, lower resolution. So we need to, to find a way to, to fix that. Now let's have a look on the distribution side. So for Tumbleweed, Cubic, and MicroRes, um, we fixed a lot of packages um, on build time, of course, I mean on the OBS side, uh, but also on the runtime side, because OpenQA allows us to, to find some bugs. As usual, we have new packages, and a new system, new device supports, and new features uh, are constantly uh, added to, to, to Tumbleweed thanks to the up-to-date kernel and up-to-date user space, uh, including the GDPC. By the way, the, um, the latest GDPC have lots of uh, performance improvements for ARM, so you should see better performance with Tumbleweed than compared to, to LIP. If you want to have more details on ARM specific features which are added to some snapshots, you can have a look on the wiki on ARM architecture support page. We also have um, Hyper-V guest support uh, with Tumbleweed, uh, but this requires uh, an up-to-date Hyper-V. Otherwise, you can have a, a hang uh, on the boot. On the lip side, lip 15.4 um, is about to be released, and AR64 is uh, still part of the main lip project, as it was for lip 15.3, and MV7 is still separated. Um, I'll talk about it a bit later. Leap is built um, with uh, some binaries RPM packages, uh, which are fetched from SLI 15 SP4. This is for core packages, which mean uh, GCC, the kernel, Cameo, etc. Then we fetch some packages from package hub projects, and we have very few packages added on top, uh, mainly for branding. And with all those packages, we we have lip. 
that's why we have a number of um, repositories added uh, when you install lib. Of course, we have fixed uh, lots of packages at build time and at runtime, and we only have 11 build failures for ARM in package up now. This is mostly related to OpenGL versus OpenGL ES support for, for ARM. So, so this is somehow expected. For ARMv7, um, since ARMv7 is not part of the SLI, uh, we need to, to rebuild all, of the, all the RPM from source. And this is where the step projects uh, enters. With the step projects, we rebuild all the SLI sources and we use it to, to build lib. You can get more information on the wiki. Uh, this is on portal lib uh, slash open to the step page. On the open to the wiki side, um, we have updated uh, ARM related pages, mainly portal ARM, which is an entry point, and hardware compatibility list pages. If you want to get information on ARM architecture extension support, uh, please go to the ARM architecture support page. They, it's kept up to date. As soon as new features are added, uh, it's logged in. So please have a look. We also added uh, links for uh, ready to boot images uh, on get.opensuse.org and this, this is a link to, to the portal ARM uh, page the, directly to the section where you have all the, um, the board and system supported. And finally, we have the, the to-do list. So we need to improve continuously the wiki with new information and up-to-date information. The page which is the most up-to-date, I think it's the pages are for the Raspberry Pi 2, 3, 4. We need to improve OBS. Um, I mean, we need to, to enable ARM build on more developed projects to catch failures as soon as possible. Um, because sometimes ARM is not enabled in the devil project, the maintainer updates the, the package, submit it to, to factory, and then we, we have a build failure on ARM, and so it takes time to, to fix, to propagate. So if you have ARM enabled in the devil project, the maintainer can see um, the build failure uh, before submitting it to, to factory. We can improve OpenQA as well. Um, we can add more IR64 tests to, to close the gap with x86 and have the same test. We can add more IR64 ports. Um, currently, we only test uh, Raspberry Pi 2, 3, and 4. Um, we could add more boards if people are interested. And what would be great, uh, it's uh, the, the test of the HDMI outputs of the board, because at the moment it's only headless. So if you if you have a, a broken HDMI output, it's not detected by the the OpenQA test at the moment. We need to continuously monitor build and test failure and fix them as soon as possible. And of course, we need to report and fix bugs on, thanks to the open to the bugs or maybe upstream. We need also some help to test and get feedbacks on the system you use. Could be single board computers or servers. Even if all is fine, it's always great to, to know it. You can help us to update software, add new features, um, if you have ideas you want to share, please reach out. 
If you want to join us, you can use uh, IRC. Uh, we have the open suzo arm channel on libera.chat. We have the mailing list, arm at lists.opensuzo.org. Uh, and you have even more communication channels on, on the wiki. Um, not specifically for ARM, but you can use it. Thank you for your attentions. And if you have questions, I'm available to, to answer them. Thanks.